Now, before I take the rest of the unit apart, it's probably quite useful just to show you some of the elements to it and how it works. So if we look back at the water pump, what you have here is a seal with a gasket, which sits between the top of the housing and the bottom of the housing. And there you've got the locking pin or the key, which holds the impeller to the drive shaft. And when the drive shaft spins, the impeller spins as well. And what that does is that actually draws water in through that hole there. So if I take off that gasket, on the bottom, you've got the water intake. That actually feeds up and comes through this hole here. I haven't got a torch to shine in the hole at the moment, but you, if you shone a torch through there, it will be able to come up right through this hole here. And then the impeller housing itself sucks that up. The impeller spins, which would flow that way. And then it blows it out the top of the impeller housing and then up into a mount in the leg of the outboard, which then feeds the coolant system and then goes out via the pee hole. Now you can see here that although this was only changed a year ago, the salt deposits on the bottom of the housing here. Now, this was actually done by a specialist a year ago, of which I have a receipt, and I'd be minded to say that they'd actually done a bit of a cheeky job here and not cleaned up and removed old parts of gasket, as you can see, on here before applying the new one. And as a result, salt deposits have got in. And if you look at the back here, this has been completely sacrificed. This section's torn off. And you can see the salt has got the whole way through, which has therefore then worked its way out of the system onto here and the surrounding areas. The good news is that it doesn't seem to have got any further than that, it's just sat where this seal hasn't fitted very tightly. Now, how the unit actually works is you've got several elements there. You've got the water intake here and the impeller blows out. Here is the actual drive shaft for the propeller itself. Here, this is what actually what engages forward, neutral and reverse. And then the top of the impeller housing is normally here when it's on, and then that goes up into the rest of the motor itself. And this deep hole here is actually the exhaust. If I put my finger down there, you can see some grubby soot marks. So what I'll do as well is I'll give this outboard um, a good clean and especially this lower unit good clean up get all of the gunk off of everything and sort this bottom of the impeller unit out as well so that it's as close as to new as possible and i've got the best seal possible as well now what a lot of people advise and what the manual advises is that actually as i'm um, operating in salt water but it's good practice in fresh water as well is to actually use gasket sealant as well as what you depend on in these kits you can see this is the gasket seal on the other side of the impeller but it's probably best or good practice to apply some sealant as well on a surface such as that there and then equally on the inside of the impeller housing some people don't but a good bit of good practice as well to prevent any scoring is to actually apply some marine grease to the insides of the impeller housing as well